What's up, everybody? Rock it back in the house. Yay, yay. Exciting day today, man. We got the new exhaust for Bluebird. We're going to take this big hunk stock off and put the new exhaust on. We got some things we got to take off, loose and pull out. But she's going to be beautiful. Do you all want a sneak peek on her? Do you? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it doesn't say SC Project. I got me a generic one. But it's nice. Look at the size difference. It's going to be nice. Yay, yay. But we getting back to that. That's how we going to do. It's a beautiful day. All right. First thing we need to do is we need to disconnect the exit cables from the servo motor. And the exit valve cover needs to come off disconnected from there. So I'm going to show you all how you do that. You take your seat off. You lift this flat back. Heat shield flat. There's your silver motor. And then down here is where they're connected. So you got to take that off. Pop the exit valve cover off. Then you disconnect your exit cables. You got one tie right here. You cut. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you disconnect the exit cables from the silver motor. You got to put the servo motor back. Because if not, you'll get a check engine light on there. And then you just take your exhaust off. I'm going to take you all step by step. All right, guys. First thing we're going to do is you got a tie right here. The only tie holding all the cables. Cut that. Snip. Snip. There you go. Pull that tie out. That way your cables are free. See? All righty. Yay, yay. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the exit valve cover. I'm going to show you all how you do that. This this right here. It's just two Allen keys. One here, one right there. Pop them out, and I'll show you all what's next. All right, guys. I had some complications down here because my bolt up top is completely rusted. I can't get it out. So I took the bottom one and bent it up. But after you do that, the next thing you do, if you can see, I'm trying to make sure you all got some light up in there. There you go is you got these two little bolts right here and you loosen them up and loosen it up right there right there and then you pop these out oh hang on you gotta pull them to you and pop out it's hard to do it holding the camera oh hang on all right, there we go. You had to spin it to loosen these back ones up so you can pull it back and then they pull out. Then you disconnect, boom, pull this around, disconnect, boom. That's how you kill your servo things. Now, usually you can put this cat back on, but me, I had to bend it. So see, bend it back, no harm, no foul. But that's how you do it. Now you gotta come up top here to the bike. <sighs> okay. And then, of course, like I said, you pull your fire heat shield back. And you got a bolt right here you got to take out. That's the first thing you do, take that bolt out. All right, now, as you can see, we took the bolt out. I'm going to set that up there. Once you got the bolt out, you pull your server motor out. It's hard to do with one hand. Ah, there you go. And once that's out, you got, uh, trying to spin it. And you got two screws up top there. Right there. One and two. You got to take them two screws out up top. That's your next thing. All right. I just got them top screws out. So you need to pull this cover off. And it's the same type of setup here. got to pull these loose. See, look. Pull one. Pull the other one loose. Very impressive. I'm doing all this one-handed. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Ba boom Alright, now once you got them disconnected, these just pull out really hard. Just give them a good yank. And one. And another one. Two. There you go. And that's how you get them out. Now, it's very important you put this back with your shield on or you will get a red flag with everything, okay? So, you come down here and you can grab these. And see, so you just start pulling. 
and working them down. And right here. Oh, oh boom, see? And I got to pull them through my little bracket. But we'll get them through. But you see the point, pull them through the bracket. All right, now once you got them pulled out, see they come out the bottom through the clip. I took my rear set off so it would be easier for me. But save these for later in case you ever want to put the stock exhaust back on. Now for here, make sure you put that cap back on. You put this bolt to back here. And of course, you put your heat shield back up. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. See? Boom, boom. All righty. Well, I'll hit you when that's done. All right, now, once you got that cap screw back on with these two screws right there, you got to hook this back up to here. But boom. There you go. And you put your bolt back on. Tighten that down, you flip your heat shield back down, and then you're good to go. Yay, yay. All right, now we're down the exhaust. Now all you got left is you got that bolt right there you got to take out, and this bolt to take out, and then your exhaust slides off. Let's get that done, and we'll be back. All right, guys, now that you got that bolt out and this bolt out, your next thing is just grab the exhaust and work her out. And there she is. There's your stock exhaust gone. Yay, yay. Now we're going to gut the cat, and then we're going to put the new one on. All right, guys. The next part is you see that little honeycomb down there. That's my Cadillac converter, and you got to drill it out, tap it out, and rip it out. And that's what I'm doing. So I already started a couple holes. We'll see how that goes when it's done. Yay, yay. All right, everybody, that was a pain, but as you can see down in the hole now, I got the cat all dug out. Now I got to vacuum it out, and then you'll see the final touches. Yay, yay. That's how we do. All right, guys, just a heads up. That's the stuff I pulled out, and I got it vacuumed out. Okay, to a point. Still needs more vacuuming done. Make sure you get all that guck out of there so you still see some in the back. Got to get it all. Once that's done, you slide your new pieces on, new exhaust. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I got her vacuumed out the best I can. I'm about to start her up in the house and shoot it out because I can't get her outside. Let's hope she starts. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to open the back door real quick. Just to be safe. Got Bluebird on. Make sure she's in neutral. Yep, there we go. Alrighty. She's nice and clean. The wife's going to kill me. <laughs> Time to put the new exhaust on. All right, guys. I've revved that out. The pipe's nice and cleaned out now. Let me grab the phone so y'all got a light and can see. Look at that. She's a cleaned out beauty now. Straight down, clean, no nothing. Now, time for the good part. Here's the exhaust peeps. Pow, fresh. All you do is you kick that on there. Hold on, make sure. There we go. Boom, boom. See, I'm gonna put my rear sets on and adjust everything. And then you're gonna snap this on. But boom, boom, look at that, man. She's a beauty. Yay, yay. Then you got your brackets on, and you're good to go. Yay, yay. I will show you how to hook it all up. All right, guys. Well, this is the new exhaust. The only problem is I got to get a new mount because it doesn't reach my foot bracket. So I'll have to figure that out, and then it hits up there. So I need to get a longer one of these grip things, but that's it. And then all you do, you tighten this down, put your springs on, and you're set to go. And put my two rear set bolts back on. Yay, yay. Well, guys, I'm an idiot. I found a piece that I needed right here. And that's what hooks it to there to bring it to your bracket. So you're good to go. So install that, tighten that down, put your springs back, and we'll be good to go. Yay, yay. 
All right, guys, she's done. She's put back together, but my seat and this little heat shield keeps flapping up. But there she is, man. What do you think of the new exhaust? She's a beauty. Wife's well, gonna scream one more time, but we gotta hear, all right? What y'all think? No lights on the dash. Good to go. Life's gonna kill me. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial on how to put the exhaust in. Exhaust in. Bluebird is happy. Yay, yay. I'm Rocket. This is the Go Harder Home channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment below. My light is blinking. That's a sign. It's time to go. Y'all have a good night. Rocket out. Yay, yay.